Back for another round of Golden Eagle Update here at ORUGoldenEagles.com. I'm Rob Walden along with senior libero Bruna Silva of the ORU volleyball team. Another great weekend for volleyball. They went to the Georgia Southern Tournament this weekend all the way out in Statesboro, Georgia. Won two out of three matches and they're now eight and two on the season. The best start for the club since 1996. And Bruna, a two and one week for you guys. You played very good competition, probably the best competition of the season. A victory over North Dakota State, a victory over High Point, and then a loss to Georgia Southern to wrap it up. Let's go back to that North Dakota State uh, match. They were rivals for you, uh, of you guys for a couple years in the Summit League, including that Summit League championship match from 2011. I know it's a little bit different crew, but still, how good did it feel for you and for the rest of the seniors to have that victory over North Dakota State, a longtime rival of you guys? I know that had to feel good. Yeah, it, it felt really good. We did awesome. We all wanted to win, so we were like in the same page. And the biggest thing in the, the tournament mm -hmm. was uh, go after North Dakota State, sure. and we did it, and it was awesome. Everyone did well. The freshmen did really good. Sarah Pope did really good, and our setter it was amazing. So everybody did what they were supposed to do, so it went really well. You mentioned some of the newcomers on the team, and you guys have such a veteran group. You, Jessica Pankratz, Luara Rosa. You guys have a lot of seniors on the club, but you also have a lot of newcomers that are really doing big things. You talked about Sarah McKenna Qualls was an all-tournament selection this past weekend. What is it that those newcomers have added to the team that it have really helped you guys play so well through the first three weeks? Well, they always have, like, good attitude. Sure what make it easier to work with them. Mm -hmm. So whenever they come to the court, they just give their max every time. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's easy to work with it. So when you see like a freshman or newcomer acting really good and like giving their best and their best attitude, sure. everyone wants to do the same and be like them. And it's not like just be like them, mm -hmm. but they wanna like show them how to be and this is makes everyone better because the, everyone wants the same thing you guys have been on the road for three weeks you played 10 matches and you still haven't played a home match now you're finally home this weekend you've got incarnate word thursday abilene christian on saturday also the first two southland conference matches of the season how excited are you guys to finally be at home and finally play in front of your home fans it's pretty hard to say actually i it's I love playing out at home, but mm -hmm. home is just like having everyone here. Sure. It's just like make us so comfortable. And like the gym that we're com comfortable with, mm -hmm. we just, I think we play better when we have people that will be there watching us, cheering for us. It just make us want to be really good so sure. they can come every time to see us play. And it's also the conference openers for you guys. Uh, you guys have been really close to going to the NCAA tournament, winning a conference championship two years in a row. Uh, two years ago against North Dakota State, last year against Central Arkansas, both times in the championship match. As a senior, how motivated are, are you and, and how motivated is the rest of the club to get over that hump this year and win that conference championship? Well, we haven't finished a job, so we're working as hard as we can to get it. And I think with these newcomers and mm -hmm. freshmen, I think we we gonna be able to do it. Everybody is fighting for the same thing. We are all in the same page, and we really want it. So we're gonna make sure that we're gonna do everything we can to get it. And it is a journey that starts this weekend for the Golden Eagle Volleyball Club. Like we said, they host Incarnate Word on Thursday at seven. They turn around two days later on Saturday and host Abilene Christian at 2 o'clock. Both of those games up at the Cooper Aerobics Center on the ORU campus. And, of course, if you can't make it, you can watch both of those matches live and free of charge right here at ORUGoldenEagles.com. Make no little plans here. It's a statement of people who think big. People who are easily frustrated with the status quo. People who want to change the world. Whatever it is that you're called to accomplish, know this. ORU is a place that inspires greatness. It's about the power of an idea, and it's about the power of change. So the only question is, what's your plan?
Back for more Golden Eagle update here at ORUGoldenEagles.com. Rob Walden along with Abby Hoover, freshman of the ORU women's cross-country team. Cross-country had another good week, third week in a row competing, and they did quite well at the Texas Tech meet. Men finished fifth and the women finished tenth. And Abby, talk about what it's like to run in your third consecutive meet. It's your first year of collegiate cross-country. I know the training is harder, the hours are longer, the distances are longer, mm -hmm. and yet three weeks in a row you guys have really gone out and performed well. What's that adjustment been like for you coming from high school cross-country now to the collegiate ranks? Um, it has been pretty difficult because in high school I played basketball as a dual sport athlete. Sure. And um, so running all these extra miles is a lot harder on me, but I'm trying to adjust to it and after several weeks I'm getting more used to it and the races are going pretty good so I'm really excited. You've got a, a veteran presence on the team and Samantha Watson who was fantastic mm -hmm. last year and continues to do PR after PR this season and that's somebody that you get to train with every day especially as a rookie on the team what's it like to have an example like that that you're looking at every single day in training and trying to, to get better like they are? It's awesome. I love training with Sam. She's just such a good motivator, and it's always good to have someone who's, like, pushing you every day in practice. So it's definitely really good for me. What's the off week going to be like? Because now, you know, you're in a groove of class and practice and mm -hmm. then the meet on Saturday. Now you finally get a, a week to recharge the batteries. I know there's still a lot of training that goes into that, though. Talk about what the off week schedule is going to be like and how important it is to get a little rest before the season continues. Um, this off week we'll be doing more speed work and probably putting in a little more miles but it'll also be good for my body to get some rest because sure. we've had three back-to-back -back weeks of racing. So um, I'm glad we have an off week and we'll be ready for the OSU Jamboree. So. Yeah, and, and that is uh, coming up in two weeks down mm -hmm. in Stillwater, Cowboy Jamboree. I know you ran in it as a high yes. schooler, finished third. Mm -hmm. Now you're going back as a collegian, probably the most famous cross-country meet in Oklahoma. I know something that, that runners always dream to run in at the collegiate level. What's it mm -hmm. going to be like going back there to run in it again, this time uh, representing ORU? I think it's going to be really cool. You know, like you said, I did run it in high school, and my high school team will be there. So it'll be really cool to, like, run it from a different perspective. Like, I'm not in high school anymore. It's sure. college. And, you know, I it, the course is actually different. Sure. Um, we ran two miles in high school, so you do a one-mile loop two times. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going back in the woods, and there's more hills. So right. I'm actually really excited about it. Yeah, so. and it should be a lot of fun. Cross Country continues to have a fantastic season. Like we said, they are back on the track two weeks from now when they take part of the Cowboy Jamboree up in Stillwater at OSU. And you can follow their progress all year long right here at ORUGoldenEagles.com. We are wholly dedicated to seeing the whole picture, to serving the whole world, to experiencing a whole world of opportunities. For a university founded on the whole person, body, mind, and spirit. Time for our final Golden Eagle update of the week, and we're with Mary-Kate Halsmer of the ORU women's soccer team. Two in one week for ORU. They opened up with a midweek victory over Roger State, eight to nothing at the Case Soccer Complex. Came back on Friday, fell one nil to Oklahoma, and then rallied on Sunday for a three to two overtime victory against Arkansas State with Mary-Kate scoring the golden goal in overtime. Uh, a busy week for you guys, three matches in a span of about five days. Let's rewind to that Roger State match. Eight to nothing was the final. I know it probably could have even been more. Uh, it's gotta be fun to be in a game like that where everybody gets playing time, everybody gets to, to be a part of the action, and I know eight different players scored. That's gotta be a, a big yeah. momentum booster for you guys to have a match like that. Yeah, it was really awesome because um, since we do have such a large team this year, we mm -hmm. have a lot of freshmen, a lot of sophomores, and it was really good to be able to get them in, get them, just see how they play with each other since they're going to be here for a lot longer than sure. the seniors maybe and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it was really cool to be able to see them work together and to get an opportunity to be on the field. So it was really good. A couple days later, uh, a rematch with Oklahoma. I know that was a, a dramatic victory last season. Uh, this year, not quite the same result. They scored late a 1-0 uh, loss for you guys. Uh, I know it's got to be tough to play a Big 12 team and, and a good one at that, toe-to-toe -to -toe for about 75 minutes, really for the full 90 minutes, yeah. and not come away with a victory. Yeah, we did have a good win, a couple good wins against them in the past years. Sure. But this year, um, I, we played well. I feel like in the second half, we had a lot of chances that we could have put away. Uh, maybe um, there was other factors that came into, but I think we played really good. and. 
I mean, uh, we were really bummed just because we felt sure. like we were really going to get that win, but it was it was a hard fought, and I feel like we're ready to go on and for conference play. Well, then you had to come back two days later, another mm -hmm. match last week against Arkansas State. You guys fell behind two to nothing before you rallied. Do you feel like there's any kind of hangover effect when you play such a close match against a team like Oklahoma, can't quite get the job done? How does that carry over it into a match against uh, Arkansas State when you guys were, were down two to nothing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, well, characteristically, we've been really, not had our best games on Sunday afternoons, sure. which we've tried to change because that's really important to be able to play at any in any weather, any sure. temperature, any time of day. Um, but so I know that at halftime we were trying to get pumped up and like ready to go because we knew that we were better than that team. We knew that we should win. And after the two goals, I think we all just kind of, for me at least, I just got really angry and I, I really wanted to just come back and beat them. So I know that we all, Kayla had a good run to get that. Um, after Jen took the PK, Kay, mm -hmm. Kayla just got right in and got that hard foul drawn. And um, after that, after Kayla got the corner, we just kept the momentum going and tried to finish off the game. Uh, three goals in 15 minutes plus overtime with you scoring the game winner. How do you, how do you rally after being down two to nothing in a game like that, is there a flip, that, a switch that you flip, or or do you just find yourself suddenly controlling the flow of the game? Because it's not often you see a team come back from from two nil with the 15 minutes left. Yeah, um, I know we had we've been used to overtime. We've had a lot last year. I think it was eight or nine games that we went sure. into overtime. But um, I know that we were just really we knew we were better than that team, and that we. We deserved the win, so I know that we all just came out really hard in the second half and in the overtime. And um, whenever we were waiting for the overtime to start, I know we were all just so pumped up and just really just getting each other ready to go. And we just looked over at the other team, and we were all just were like, we can do this. We got this. We can do it. So we all just came out. I know we all wanted to finish it early. So Conference play starts this Friday. Stephen F. Austin, who I know knocked you out of the tournament last season, yeah. went on to win it. That was a bitter pill for you guys, as it is any time you get knocked out of a postseason tournament. Now you're back for one final run in the Southland Conference, and it starts with the team that put you out last year. You guys have to be really pumped up for that game. Yeah, um, we play Stephen F. Austin on Friday and then Lamar on Sunday. So those are, in my opinion, those are the two best teams in our conference. Um, I'm really excited that we play Stephen F. Austin first sure. because they're definitely the team that we need to beat. We had an unfortunate loss against them in conference play and mm -hmm. in the tournament last year. So we're all ready to go and just really pumped up about that. And this week can kind of be a tone setter for you guys. Definitely. If you come away with a couple results, that's the kind of thing that can carry over to the rest of the conference season. Yeah, definitely. We're all trying to get in the mindset that we need these first two wins and then it'll be a lot easier for us to just keep the momentum going if we start off strong so well, good luck and we'll see you in a couple weeks Thanks. hopefully with a couple southland wins yep all right mary kate halsmer of the women's soccer team like we said they open southland conference play on friday against stephen f austin then sunday they finish the road trip against lamar you can follow their progress all season long right here at oru goldeneagles.com